New studies and experts are now claiming that it's only a matter of time before Tesla, and possibly Toyota as well, but I'm not buying that part of the story, actually pose a serious threat to Ford's F-Series truck domination. Now, the key reason, I think, that this is possible is, yeah, I mean, there's clearly demand for Ford trucks, right? But never in history has Ford had more than 200,000 pre-orders for a truck, let alone 2.4 million, which is what Tesla have for the Cybertruck. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Hope you had an amazing week. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know, I might not be around for a couple of days, possibly because I'm getting surgery tomorrow to, to fix um, the fact that I'm getting old. Now, in all seriousness, just broken three bones in my foot a few weeks ago and uh, tore a tendon. It's called a Liz, Liz Frank fracture. So yeah, career ending, I'm told. Anyway, the Ford F-Series sales domination isn't assured, even this year, according to a new study. The Tesla Model Y and the Toyota RAV4 trailed the Ford F-Series total registrations in 2023 by 0.1%. That's excluding fleet sales, 0.1%. Now, this trend represents another sign that buyers are continuing to move towards SUVs and crossovers. A lot of buyers are saying, do I need a big Ford truck? No, not really. And that along with several other insights from the S&P's global analysis of the US's auto market of 2023 shows some really interesting scenarios. Now, EV prices plummeted last year by 32%. That's the cost of new ones. And one of the key drivers of this is Tesla's price cuts. Uh, the, the entire industry has been forced to reduce prices of EVs and thereby this makes them a much more formidable opponent to internal combustion because prices now are so low. Um, S&P gathers registration data from all 50 US states, compiles it and then reports their findings. Registration data is key since some brands like Tesla don't report their sales figures. The data contained in the study references light vehicles only, which includes the Ford F-250 and the Ford F-350 and of course the 150, along with similarly large heavy duty trucks from General Motors and from Ram. S&P Global confirmed that larger trucks fall into its medium and heavy category. That said, the Ford F-Series 150, 250 and 350 only beat out the Tesla Model Y and Toyota RAV4 in terms of total registrations by 0.1%. That's remarkable. The truck lineup saw 380,700 registrations. Model Y, 375,200. So, I mean, you're looking at a difference of 5,000 registrations. Very, very minimal. The RAV4 had 368,500. The Chevrolet Silverado 1500, 2500, and 3500 came in fourth with 348,000 registrations. The Honda CRV rounded out the top five with 347,000 registrations. So clearly, you can see here that uh, trucks for decades, they've been the best selling vehicles in the United States, but that might be about to change. Now, if you have a look at the actual model sales, you can see um, the Tesla Model Y is so close to becoming the best-selling vehicle in the United States that it possibly has Ford and General Motors a bit concerned because it's a big marketing. It's a big marketing um, badge to be able to say, we have the best-selling vehicle in the United States. And Ford are thinking, well, we might lose that. I mean, Ford have been crowing on about the F-150 or their F-Series trucks being the best-selling uh, vehicles in America for many, many years now. But they might not be able to say that pretty soon. Notably, the RAV4 and F-Series swap spots when compared to 2022, but the evidence suggests that some truck buyers are moving toward SUVs and crossovers. For 2022, the top five fleet excluded spots had all three mainstream trucks included. For 2023, Ford might barely hold the top spot, but Chevrolet dropped from second to fourth, says car scoops, and Ram fell from fourth to sixth. Meanwhile, the Model Y jumped up from seventh to second. So realistically, if we see a new Model Y Juniper come out, which has more range, the new M3P battery uh, redesign, it is a much, much better vehicle. It might mean that 
Well, Ford actually lose that top place. There's no question that when fleet sales get added to the mix, trucks are still a dominating force. Ford's F-Series had 677,000 registrations in total in 2023. That's 4.5% of the entire market. The Silverado came in second with 540,000, representing 3.6% of the entire US car market. The RAV4 was in third with 430,000. Ram came in fourth and Tesla's Model Y was in fifth. For this study, the Model Y stands out as a well acclaimed luxury vehicle in a field of non-luxury options. That's rare, but shouldn't come as a much of a surprise considering just how popular the Model Y is. It represented 33.5% of the entire electric vehicle registrations in the United States during 2023. So one in every three of all electric cars sold in America in 2023 was a Tesla Model Y. Remove fleet sales and that figure is 37%. <laughs> so from private buyers, 37% of all EVs sold in America were the Model Y. Overall, the market appears to be moving towards SUVs and electrified vehicles. It's really just happening and there's nothing that Ford or General Motors can do about that. Half of all overall sales are SUVs in America and the CRV, the Model Y and RAV4 have a huge lead on the rest of the segment. Now, EVs currently only make up around 8.5% of all car sales in America, but that's still a record and electric car sales have actually grown by 380% over the past three years in America. The media doesn't like talking about that. It, it's, not, it's not selling the narrative they're trying to tell us. The narrative is electric cars, um, demand has gone down, it's collapsed. 380% um, growth is contrary to that, that media narrative that the media are telling us and the dealerships are trying to tell us car dealerships don't like EVs either because they can't uh, well they they can't sell millions of spare parts and services don't need to be done if you're buying a Tesla anyway gasoline vehicles still represent 78 percent of all cars sold in America but that's changing fast I mean look what we're seeing in Europe and China you can see that it's inevitable that electric cars I mean even for themselves General Motors are saying you know 2035 pretty much everything they sell will be electric. So it's inevitable that EVs will take over. When it comes to fuel choices, I mean, clearly the growth of EVs is outstripping the growth of hybrids significantly. Now here are the top 10 best-selling electric cars in America last year. The Tesla Model Y was in first place with 33.5% market share, but when it's just private buyers, it's 37%. 384,600 deliveries. Tesla Model 3 in second with 212,000. Now, there's a brand new Tesla Model 3 this year, the Highland version, and it's much, much, much better. It's a far better car than the Model 3 from last year. So Tesla might actually outdo those sales numbers this year. The Chevrolet Bolt had relatively small numbers compared to Tesla's two vehicles with 62,000. And unfortunately, General Motors are no longer making the Chevy Bolt. Fourth was the Mustang Mach-E with only 3.4% market share, or one-tenth of the market share of the Model Y, with 38,000 deliveries. The ID4 was next from Volkswagen, followed by the Ionic 5, Hyundai, Tesla Model X, Rivian R1S, the Ford F-Series, and the Kia EV6. So th there's a lot of concern from automakers in America that they can't manufacture electric cars and make a profit. Ford was losing $35,000 on every EV it sold last year, and therefore it's trying to make it look like Customers don't want EVs. Now, Porsche is saying the opposite. Porsche is saying, we just revealed a new electric Macan. We've never had this kind of demand in the history of any car we've ever sold, ever in the history of Porsche. They're saying they had 50,000 pre-orders within the first few days. Probably well over 100,000 by now. People want good EVs. They want good quality EVs. Now, if Ford can't make it, if General Motors you know, takes too long to get into this market, it just leaves the door open for Tesla to take more sales for other manufacturers to take up the slack. What are your thoughts? Either way, guys, I do think Ford and General Motors are in pretty serious danger of losing market share in America.